Yeah, uh, thank you. Good one. Um, well, just you got to execute and make good plays. You know, you got to if you can't can't make those tight little D to D passes or D to center passes. You know, the wings are usually taken away at this point uh, into the middle. You know, you got to be able to make those little plays in order to get out get out quickly with any speed and hopefully create offense in the other end. If you can't make those plays, if you're just constantly rimming it or icing it, or you know, it could turn into a long night. So um, it's mostly about being able to execute those plays and getting out, hopefully getting it to our guys who put it in the net. How much do you go back and look at the game three weeks ago against Boston and plan for today and see what you can do differently? I mean, the, there's certainly stuff we'll go back, but I mean, there's so many games, uh, you know, but obviously you go over every team, <coughs> excuse me, every time before you play them, certain things, especially they've done lately, things change over three weeks, but um, there's certainly things we've learned in the few games that we have played them. I you know, we had that back-to-back early in the year uh, before they turned into, the, you know, the team that's just been you know, the hottest team really since then probably or pretty close. So um, we'll certainly pay attention to what happened a couple weeks ago. Is there an appreciation for what they have turned into? I mean, well, I, mean, I don't know if appreciation is the right word, but uh, you better respect the, the team coming in because if you don't put your best foot forward, they're, you know, they've put, gone on this run for a reason. It's not an accident this long, so we'll be making sure we're prepared to start off, off the opening puck drop. Otherwise, it could be a night that's not very fun. Uh, the team has a winning record with when Austin's been out of the lineup this season. What have you seen from the group in terms of buckling down in the previous times he's been out? Yeah, I didn't, you know, we, obviously it's not a player we want out of the lineup. Um, not that you want any player out, but obviously it's one of the better players in the league here. So um, we're fortunate, I think, to have had a winning record when he's been out. He's been out a couple times. we we'll just continue to try to do the things that make us successful as a team. Obviously, a goal scorer like that, and the, the way he plays both ends of the rink is a big, big challenge. But we got, we're fortunate. We got a lot of great players here right now, and so we'll try to get it done without them for uh, however long that is. What is it about the Bergeron line that makes them so dangerous? A lot. They're really, they're really playing well. At least when I've played against them, they. They seem to know where each other's going without having to look. They're very hard to anticipate uh, where the puck's going next. I mean, you, you know that it, they're looking for certain plays to Bergeron in the slot because they just run it so many times. But the way they do it, no look, and so quickly. I know we got burned on it in here, I think, when I, I was out there back in November. Uh, you don't even think they're maybe going to do it, and then they do it. You're looking at something else. And then Pasternak, obviously, uh, is a great scorer, and, Berger, and uh, Marchand's making a ton of plays. Um, they just they, they move it quick. They move it without telegraphing it, and and they can finish. And so it's a, it's a tough combo to deal with, without question. Aspects of Freddie's game that's allowed him to be so consistent for so long, really, from uh, the end of October. Yeah, I mean that's a tough one for me because yeah. I'm not a goalie guru. He's just a good goalie. He's one of the better ones in the league. I think he's proven that throughout this year. The technical aspects I'll have to leave to somebody who's better versed in that.